Good morning to you all. I'm Rubio Singh Bans, and I'm going to discuss the topic, the role of CT imaging, axion and coronal for diagnosis of chronic pancreatitis. Abstract Introduction Chronic pancreatitis is characterized by relentless inflammatory and fibrotic changes of the gland, eventually leading to exocrine and endocrine dysfunction. It can severely impair the quality of life besides life threatening acute and long-term complications. The current incidence ranges from 4.4 to 14 per 1 lakh people with prevalence of 36.9 to 52.4 per 1 lakh people, male predominance by a factor of 1.5 to 4.6 and a median survival of 20 years is there. Aims to study the role of CT for diagnosis of chronic pancreatitis. Methods, CT pancreas protocol. The CT pancreas protocol serves as an outline for a dedicated examination of the pancreas, it is usually conducted as a biphasic contrast study. The methods, the research study was conducted at the radio diagnostic department of our super specialty hospital. The CT machine used in this procedure was Philips 128 CT. CT pancreas protocol. Protocol CT for solid organ involved different time phases based on IV contrast reaching a particular structure, different pro processing options. Contrast related factors, negative oral contrast, distend the stomach and the duodenum, better contrast between bowel and solid organs. IV contrast is usually iodine based. Volume and concentration is 1.5 to 1.8 meter per kilogram of 300 mg per ml. Rate is 2 to 5 ml per second. There are different base phase basics are there. In non contrast phase, it is where is the contrast seen? It is usually seen in the plain contrast or pre contrast. Early arterial phase is usually seen in arteriogram. Then there is pancreatic parenchymal phase, also known as late arterial phase. We can see the contrast in the portal vein, but it is not seen in the hepatic vein. Then there is the portal venous phase, which is predominantly seen. The contrast is predominantly seen in the portal veins, beginning to appear in the hepatic vein and in the IVC. Then the last is the delayed phase, only fibrous structure, the liver, etc. are focused. Then there is a timing of the CT pancreas protocol, the timing for acquisition. In non-contrast phase, it is usually 0 second. Early arterial phase, it is usually 15 seconds. Then there is pancreatic parenchymal phase, also known as delayed arterial phase. It is from 35 to 45 seconds. And then there is portal venous phase, that is 60 to 70 seconds. In this diagram, we can see that it is the CT axial image of the pancreas. And in this image, we can see the pancreas in the midline. The pancreas, we can see there is a calcific, uh, there is a calcific foci seen embedded in the pancreatic body region, which is well visualized in this axial CT scan. And we can see in this image, we can see the pancreatic duct has been dilated mainly in the body and in the proximal tail region with the atrophic of the pancreas in mostly in its tail region. And the, this is a coronal image of the same patient. In this also, we can see the atrophicization of the pancreas with the calcification in the in pancreatic head and the dilatation of the main pancreatic duct. Then the features of chronic pancreatitis are as follows. Heterogeneous enhancement, that is pancreatic fibrosis, fibrotic parenchymal tissue enhances on late phase, pancreatic duct dilatation with loss of tapering in the tail, irregularities of the margins of the pancreatic duct with alternating areas of stenosis and dilatation, side branch dilatations, cystic areas in pancreas, parenchymal loss and atrophy, calcification and sore formation. Then there is modified Cambridge classification on CT. There are uh, grading done here. Zero is normal. Grade one is equivocal. Grade two is mild. In grade two, mild, there are the following features. Two or more of the following. Pancreatic duct dilatation, two to four mm. Duct irregularity variation, one to two mm. Side branches abnormality, three or more. Heterogeneous parenchyma. Cystic changes, 10 mm or less in size is seen. Third is moderate pancreatitis. It is the features of mild plus MPD is dilated more than 4 mm. Then there is the last and the most severe 
form the grade four. It is moderate plus one or more stones, structures, panchromatic calcification of cysts more than 10 mm, or there are severe duct irregularities, which we can see. Then the complications of chronic pancreatitis are as follows. Pseudocyst formation, it is the most common complication. Vascular complication including portal vein or splenic vein thrombosis with or <clears throat> without resultant splenic liver infarcts. Then there are internal pancreatic fistula, obstruction of different part of GIT. In this CT axial image, we can see the pseudocyst formation in the axial CT, having the pseudocyst formation and also incidental finding of right hydroureteronephrosis is seen. The conclusion, diagnosis of chronic pancreatitis continues to present a clinical challenge. However, recent guidelines have brought much needed direction and clarity to this endeavor. In this review, we emphasize the role of CT in imaging chronic pancreatitis and its various complications. Overall, the CT remains the best screening tool for detection of chronic pancreatitis with diagnostic performance equal to or better than MRI. Thank you.